Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your Mercury Retrograde reading. We'll probably have a few of these, okay? It is Mercury Retrograde. Um, that means that communication is going backwards. We're thinking different. We're thinking backwards. We're thinking about the past. Uh, things are coming back to us. So you could even um, maybe expect other people or people to come back to you or you want to go back to or something about back. And it's fast because Mercury is the winged messenger. So it's like messages coming in fast, messages going out fast. But it's, it's, a, it's a, in regards to past energy or something passed over or going back to the past, okay? Um, let's see what is coming out for you, Scorpio. Thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. Scorpio, all links are below if you need to get in contact uh, with me. Uh, thank you. Let's see. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Okay, so yeah, emotions. So somebody could be trying to get the best of your emotions here or your emotions are getting the best of you. Uh, with this being a pink card, it could be you by yourself, yourself self-deception or your emotions trying to deceive you or this is a season where you're, you're thinking backwards your, your birthday season could be coming up and you're thinking about this is nostalgic times of fun times with that particular person um this is also emotions in regards to maybe a past relationship or a past person or this is uh maybe this is even coming from the past like when you were a child childhood so your emotions Something about your emotions driving you. Let's see what is driving you to do. It, it, it maybe even to heal, self care, self love. Let's see, family changes can't make it up. Maybe from the past or having your own family, the family that you've gone out and created for yourself. You could be thinking about when you had your family back, when you would take family vacations, especially if it was around your birthday season. Um, emotions could be getting the best of you right now in terms of Mercury retrograde. Your thoughts of are of the past or this is someone else in regards to you. There's somebody who wants to maybe make some changes around the family dynamic. They could want to come back or want you to come back. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah. Okay. So this person, religion and spirituality, maybe you've become more spiritual. You've done something religiously um, in terms of maybe trying to heal yourself, heal the connection, heal where you are. Uh, you've done something routinely, okay, in regards to moving or moving on. Or maybe you actually made a physical move or you moved somewhere. You aren't telling someone where you're moving. You don't want to be involved in of you've moved away, the proverbial move or the physical move. So it's just like you've come to a place of just understanding that you have to move on or you are moving on. Your emotions get the best of you sometime. And maybe especially around this uh, Mercury retrograde or this is someone else. Somebody has moved on from you or you've moved on from them or you both are trying to move on. You have parental care. So maybe you could be co-parenting uh, right now. Uh, yeah, you could be uh, co-parenting. Um, but you've moved on and you're trying to move on. Somebody could even be trying to come back to you. It could be a baby's mom, baby's dad. Um, they're trying to relive or revive something with you. But it, it's all wrong timing and it's all the, for the wrong reason. Somebody could be in a, a, a maybe lack mindset. I'm not having enough. Okay. Yeah. Hobbies. All right. So somebody could even look at maybe this relationship. Oh, they could be wanting to come back to you because they don't have nothing else to do. Also, you know, a space filler. They could be looking at you as recreational a hobby or vice versa this is what you're doing uh, and, and this is why somebody is saying it's an absolute hell no um, let's see um, you also need to get a hobby to kind of fill that void if you get rid of something and you don't have anything to replace it it's a big ass void right if you get rid of your big dining room table where everybody sits and eats you just get rid of it you just get rid of it. you don't replace it. you just get rid of it. now you get this big ass void in your dining room what are you going to fill it with? And that's the, the same type of energy when you get rid of people out of your life or when you maybe remove yourself out of people's lives. It's like a big void and somebody needs to fill that void with something. Somebody needs to get a hobby, get a clue, but it's not you. The hobby is not you and playing with you. Volunteer. Yes, yeah, some of you need to volunteer or you need to be around um, situations where you can volunteer your feelings where you don't feel like you need to hold back or you can be yourself. Um, yeah, where you can be yourself. Because it's like uh, maybe safe space is what I'm hearing. Maybe around people where you just know you can't, you ain't safe with them. Your nothing is safe with them. Your purse ain't safe around them. Damn sure not your business. So uh, self-employment. Some of you could be self-employed. This also comes out when you just need to take time for yourself, self-care, maybe even a, a retreat or vacation. Um, you just need to again all the pink. So it's about you, self, self-love, self-care. You know. Let's see what else. Um, yeah, forgiveness, maybe even forget, 
okay, so forgiveness starts with you because we got to forgive ourselves because sometimes we feel like, okay, I did too much. I was stupid. I was this, I was that. Forgive yourself. And then you can start working outward. But trying to forgive somebody else when you haven't really forgiven yourself is backwards. So forgive yourself first. And then you can start to work out with dietary change. Some of you need to change your diet, okay? And it's going to change your attitude altogether. Yeah, some of you need to... I heard of fertility also. I don't know if you're suffering with infertility, you might need to change your diet also. This could be veganism, vegetarianism, pescatarianism. Or this could just be uh, maybe, um, you know, moderation. Maybe I only eat meat on these days or, you know, something of that nature. So it's just change your diet start where you can start all right let's see um what is is happening for you around this mercury retrograde keep in mind people coming back people trying to draw you know draw on your emotions or your emotions are getting the best of you at this time you know um don't ever make an emotional decision it's it's most times the wrong one you know uh, rest in emotion and logic find balance there you know uh process your emotions accurately great fortune is coming to you that's what i'm talking about especially in self-employment uh maybe even a marriage okay this is what i'm talking about uh or you could you're going to be married to your job or to your business to your self-employment let's see what else wow wealthy man could be you it could be someone else it could be you marrying a wealthy man it looks like great fortune wealthy man coming into you or this is you it looks like you've made a decision on who you want to be with, who you want to share your life with, your wealth with. Some of you were married. You felt like you had better fortune when you were married because it's behind you if you are a man. Let's see what else is going on. Yeah, high honor. Some of you are going to, um, this could even be like a big wedding. Okay, yeah, courtship. Some of you are in some relationship that's moving towards um, seriousness altogether. You are dating for a reason, for a purpose. Um, some of you have... Uh, extreme honor in your community in uh you know in your industry in your job uh you could be dating with purpose for a purpose good news message coming to you maybe within seven days seven hours it's not seven weeks so uh or seven months it's, it's quick it's fast pathway something is really opening up for you a new pathway you're becoming like the butterfly you're absolutely transforming Maybe you turn the negative into a positive. Maybe you're dating and you know that this is going to marriage. Yeah, somebody could be declaring their love for you. Um, it could you could have children or someone else has a child, or you could be even, you know, stating that you're pregnant. A quick fast change is hap- excuse me, is happening for you. Hmm. You could be moving. You did get the moving card. You could be moving. What is this about? This is like upgrade lifestyle. You could be upgrading someone. Occupation. Maybe your occupation takes off. Family room. You're occupied with starting a family. But you want to get the pesky little details out of the way. Maybe you're going to make someone sign a prenuptial agreement or this is what someone is doing in regards to you. Yeah. Could be like an older man saying, you know, um, sign a prenuptial agreement. Unexpected money, mature uh, man. Because I want this relationship with you. And with me, you will have sudden wealth. And I'm trying to offer you the world a ring, a declaration of my love. I know that maybe other people don't want to see us together. It's been hard trying to keep this together. There was like another lover trying to upset this. Let's see what's going on for you, uh, Scorpio, around this Mercury retrograde. You could be moving towards marriage or setting a date if you're already engaged. Yeah, Pluto, transformation. Things are definitely transforming. Uh, inner resources, suspicion. Okay, so you could be suspicious about maybe someone wanting to um, maybe propose to you, pop the question, ask you to move in. It's just like you are really going from one cycle or one dynamic to the next. It's like from going from, yeah, of course, single to engaged now. That's really big square challenge. So something is creating a challenge for you, tension with you. Um, it could be maybe baby daddy, baby baby mama, something about, yeah, the first house, self. It's like you're trying to do something for yourself, your image, your philosophy. Something is arriving to you. It's like an entryway, a, a portal. It's like you, the universe wants you to walk through it, but something is trying to hold you back. could be a Virgo, uh, somebody trying to be methodical, witchy, uh, critical. Um, nervous about maybe you maybe moving on in life, having somebody else, 
not concerned about this person third house yeah so uh, somebody could be talking shit about you or trying to uh, surround themselves with people who will listen to the the rhetoric the negative uh rhetoric about you circulation yeah somebody circulating negative or negativity uh, about you leo it could be a lover a past lover um this is somebody here who is fiery who is maybe upset they have leo in their chart or this is you this is somebody here who has a big ego maybe you crush their ego with not choosing them this could be your new lover second house assets i can't make it up maybe you have a lot of wealth and you're about to marry and you just want to know if this person will sign a prenuptial agreement you want to protect the wealth because it looks like you have other children outside of this person that you're going to marry so your wealth is not just your own but it's for your children all right a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children so it's like you, you you're trying to security yeah um the moon your feelings okay uh back to emotions okay uh instinct gut gut reactions uh comfort in your digestion so you need to change your diet because maybe you aren't digesting food properly or there's you know something about in your gut uh intestine is what i'm hearing intestines okay um soothing maybe your moods are up and down um you want privacy at this time or you need privacy or you don't like being around people when you're hurting or you're hurt uh, physically um something about you need to change your diet let's see what else sun so this is masculine energy so this is you in the sun this is you wanting to start something you could be a father uh, this is ego this is individualism okay this so you are very self-sufficient okay this is distinction this is life force you are dynamic you definitely could be dealing with a leo or you have it in your chart fourth house roots it's like you're trying to lay roots down somewhere you want to have a family you want to have this um you want to have somebody to come home to at night is what i'm here you want to have somebody to build with um you may have built a lot but you trying to make sure that it's going to be there for you that it's established it's not going anywhere all right um you may already have been married before and you're going to remarry or um, you may have never been married, but you have a child or children um, outside of the person that you're deciding to put a ring on it with. There's somebody here, five of pentacles want to come in out of the cold. It could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, somebody who has their child or children, page of cups, someone who's acting immature, young, they have nothing to say. They just want to cause confusion, drama. Um, they also could be wanting to talk about maybe how you are dating, dating somebody younger or you, you're acting young and youthful and vibrant um let's see they could even be using a child to spy on you yeah ace of cups how you're acting youthful vibrant will of fortune how you change or you change your mind or you change your setting or your social setting or um now you're hanging around different people um you have uh, lots of money or you met the one again you met somebody you fell in love with them too quick somebody could be talking shit about that or they could be saying that you're dating somebody younger than you it's not going to work out uh let's see yeah you could be getting married or you could just be coming to a place where it's you know you're about to be established or something's coming full circle um bending space and time so somebody could feel like you didn't give this enough time you didn't get you didn't vet this person enough yeah six of cups especially if they're younger than you um or has less than you uh queen of cups there's somebody here this could be you scorpio woman this is the fixed uh water so that's scorpio yeah seven of cups somebody wondering about if this person is really going to marry this person or going to go through with it um somebody could be spreading rumors lies slander i'm talking real heavy real negative about you scorpio or vice versa this is what you're doing yeah a temperance card somebody's trying to gain support here of others like if i can put this stuff out then i can you know gain supporters or I can get in, in control of this. I can get in control of my emotions or somebody's trying to do something in moderation or they need to, or somebody needs to drink something or drink something that can help them with their digestive tract, intestine, or I don't know, I'm getting that again. The eight of wands here is like somebody has declared their love for somebody. Someone fell in love while traveling or fell in love really quickly. Your life is moving at a rapid speed, rapid pace. Somebody is going to come into a really wealthy, healthy marriage. Definitely emphasis on wealth because it looks like money is here. Somebody feels like they met their better half, the yin to their yang, yang to the yin. Um, nine of swords, if it's driving somebody else crazy, it could be a Virgo here. Somebody can't sleep at night because they, um, 
things are changing. Uh, they're not getting what they want. Somebody else has been chosen. Uh, Eight of Pentacles, somebody, somebody's going to get married or remarried later in life. Marriage, travel, money later in life. Seven of Swords, somebody is um, concerned about uh, spying, snooping, lying, trying to go undetected, that they're hurt. I don't know if this is you, Scorpio, or this is somebody around you. But somebody's um, in the energy of uh, snooping, spying. They don't want the best for you. Uh, the Seven of Swords, it's like they're hiding, uh, okay? Uh, they're acting like they really want to go it alone, but they really want to be in a partnership. Uh, they're acting like they're happy for you, but they're not. This is frenemy. This is somebody who's enemy contrary to what it is you say you really want. Uh, this is somebody who's deceptive in nature and in everything. Uh, this is somebody who's holding back or deceptive by not speaking their truth, their absolute truth. A uh, strength card coming out of Leo could be significant. You could have a Leo doing this to you or vice versa. This is um, who you're going to be with or who you're with. Somebody's maintaining their composure. They're not, they're not coming out of the bag on this person. They're not blowing up on this person. Somebody is maintaining their composure. The star card, it could be an Aquarius. These are direct opposites. So you could be dealing with somebody who is your opposite, but you guys are um, kind of uh, working it out or, or the energy works or you kind of mirror each other or you marry each other's energy really well. Um, this is somebody here who needs to let go or release baggage from the past. They have not. This is somebody who needs to get the chakras in alignment. This is the advice for you. This is also you needing to let go of your emotions, let go of your emotions for the past, let go of your emotions in regards to the future and moving forward. You also need to understand that you're on the right path. You need to have compassion, forgiveness for yourself personally, and then you can start to forgive others. The king of wands, this could be you, it could be someone that you're dealing with. You need to forgive the past, forgive this man of the past, forgive the man that you were in the past. Um, know that you're ready to be uh, responsible. Know that you have somebody who will be responsible, uh, Scorpio. Let's see. Seven of Swords. You need to speak your truth. It, so the Seven of Swords is coming out in regards to self-deception also. It's like holding your, um, your swords too close to your chest, not sp speaking exactly how you feel. Um, deceiving yourself or feeling like you're being deceived or being way too paranoid in regards to other people. So it's like you just need to have conversation. Therefore, the paranoia, paranoia can go away. You have to hide, you can make me paranoid or trying to keep secret that you're getting married. Okay. Or that you're about to make something official. Oh, that you're about to pop the question. You could be trying to get away with this. Um, maybe I'm um, proposing to somebody. Let's see what else. Yeah, because you're the one. You don't want to let it get out. Um, you may want to do something publicly or you are going to do something publicly. The Eight of Swords, it's got somebody else stuck, trapped in their mind. Um, don't get stuck or trapped in your mind. Know that you're ready for this. You can do it. If this is, if it feels right, it feels right. Pray about it and move forward. The Queen of Cups here. That could be you again. Um, the Eight of, you could, some of you getting married again. This might be a second marriage, third marriage, I don't know. Uh, or this is like a second go around or. You're giving a chance to marriage or love again. You got a lot of secret or you're keeping secret. You're keeping money to yourself. Yeah, you're definitely keeping money to yourself. Or you're concerned about your legacy, your wealth. So it just says, speak your truth. If you're concerned about that with your person, speak your truth. Let's see. Let's close this out. Um, abundance here. You got more than enough. And yeah, you're concerned about your kids here. Um, you have a great body of work or you have a great body um, is what someone is saying. Home. Okay, so maybe you want to purchase a home or you want to make a home or home life with someone here. or You feel like somebody is home. Um, yeah, it looks like you, you have a lot. You have more than enough. And you just want to make sure that it is secured or it, there is security surrounding it because you have children. It's, it's bigger than just you. You have a great body of work. You could get a lot of prestige, a lot of honor in whatever it is you do. Um, it looks like you are embarking on something. You're trying to keep it a secret. Um, you also have some seats, some reservations about something. Also, you need to talk to somebody, let it go or talk it out so that you can move forward seamlessly. Okay. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. And if you're a business minded individual and you want to connect with me and get on a, a discovery call, then go ahead and do so. The link is below. And if you want to be around like minded individuals like yourself who have started business, it, are starting business, 
trying to maintain business or grow business, then go ahead and sign up for the KTMG. Keep the momentum going monthly conference call where you will receive valuable practical and uh, practical and spiritual uh, advice in regards to um, business, your business uh, flourishing in every way. All right. And I want to shout out to New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, London, Houston, Atlanta, Florida, and Philadelphia. I have high viewership there. So thank you guys. Uh, again, book your reading at the website level. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout. Okay. And catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you.